We have a hole. This is a TV thing. Those balls coming out, and you can like click that thing on and put this ball back in. This is the extenders for your TV. Mounting bolt, which is kind of long. I was expecting it to be smaller. A oh, simple thing. So yeah, it's gonna be like just like this, just enough. And <laughs> not to go all the way through. This is uh, for the concrete walls. We're not gonna need that. And this is the washers. I'm actually glad we didn't buy the the TV mount in Lowe's. The one we've seen at Lowe's was coming out like this much, so the TV would be would be hitting this door and will be facing like angled. This one it had good reviews on Amazon, so that's why we chose this one. It comes with the letters, so you identify easier. I guess in the manual they have it lettered. You need M4, is those small ones. And for this installation, we're gonna be using seven millimeters socket, number 10 and uh, one eight drill bit to poke a hole in a piece of wood. And you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. I want to keep all this stuff just in case we're gonna swap this TV for a bigger one. So today I 
have this project. This is the speakers that Elvis' father gave us for our anniversary. And it's been sitting in there, in this, in between the bed for a while. So today I'm gonna put those on right there. Perfect position. So basically when you're lying down on the bed, the TV is right in front of you, which is good for gaming, for Netflix, HBO, whatever. And before that, he was on the side right there. You can see a couple holes, that's where, where it was hanging. Today I'm gonna do the speakers on each side of this little, I don't know, whatever you call it. So anyway, on each side will be a speaker. So we got this mount, this thing goes to the wall. The speaker will sit on top of it and there's a couple of holes. You gotta put a screw through it in the speaker itself. And it's a little, it's adjustable. You can adjust the angle this way. You can tilt it up and down from side to side. And it's designed for 15 kilos, which is way more than one speaker itself. So should be enough. So to attach it, I got this couple of these planks. Just painted it white. So it's gonna sit right there, top to bottom flush, and on the side it's flush with this. And then the mount itself will be attached to this plank because I have nothing behind there. It's just a void. So I have to make a nice base for this mount. And I'm gonna drill through it. And the bottom is gonna go through the metal as well, which is good. It's gonna give me some, I wish it was in the top as well, but it's just the bottom, we'll see. Okay, so now when these two pieces are attached, my next step would be putting this base on. Those are little covers for the screws. It goes on the, on the plate itself. Maybe like this. And this cover will hide all the screws. So I'm gonna be putting those low, so they're at the same height as a TV. Well, it's not gonna be the same, but It'll be close enough. So right above this screw. And to attach this mount, I'm gonna be using these big screws. that came in a kit. I guess four and four. I have one, two, three, four. Oh no, eight and eight. Okay, but anyway, I'm not gonna use this white stuff. So the next step will be this thing will go over, then this bolt will go through. So when it's tied, I can loosen it a little bit and I'll be able to angle it higher, lower. I can aim it anywhere I want, so should be good. This is how it's gonna look like, but see how close I'm sitting right on, on a screw and this lead won't, won't go on. So I'm gonna move it a little bit higher. Plus there's a holes in this arm for the cables to go in. So I wanna put another hole in this piece of wood that I just attached and uh, run it through behind the thing and probably somehow behind the curtains inside this box out of this wall plate into the TV. So I'm gonna have to pull it off, everything, and uh, <laughs> do my holes. So what I wanna do is I wanna put a big hole in here so I can fish all my cables through there. And for that, I'm gonna be using this. So this is the thickest wire that I'm gonna have and it's a little bit wider, so it should be enough. So to find the place, I'm gonna pull my tape measure from the middle of a hole between one inch and two and a quarter. So I have one and a quarter. As you can see, at one and three quarters, away from this bolt, from this screw, I'll be right in the middle of this opening. And that shall do it. So now I'm gonna run all my cables 
through that. Oh. This is the cable that's gonna go from one speaker to another one. And this is the cable that's gonna go from the main speaker to the TV. Now I'm gonna run it through this plate. Yeah, I probably better run my thickest wire power through before I start doing everything else. Okay, now it's gonna stay in there. So now we can put that speaker back on and uh, attach it. So now I'm gonna use this allen wrench for the top and this key that was in the kit. So this one is left, which will go on this side. It doesn't fit in there. To spread these arms, there's a couple of bolts on each side. Start unscrewing those to make it wider. Now I'm gonna fasten it a little bit more so it holds the speaker well. Okay. So before I attach all the wires, I want to put this second one on. Okay. So now it's time to put a couple of holes in this, one on this on each side of each speaker and uh, secure it on this mount with this little bolt. I'm gonna drill a hole, not all the way through, but just enough for this thing to grab. Or maybe I can just do it without a pre drilling. I'm mean, just trying. Mamma mia! Okay. And the last one. So this is an input from a TV. This is power. And this too will fit the other speaker. So now all I need to do is just to run these wires to the TV. It's not enough. Let me see the power cord. The power cord should be enough. Because I have an outlet right here. In already. I guess this cable have to stay like this for now so that later I can buy an extension fish it through the wall plate zip tie to this thing and uh, yeah just an extension would do it and now let's test it out